The idea here is to take a look at the solid figures. So, uh, identify some of their features, such as the phases, number of ages, and vertices. For example, if we have the cube, this solid, we can see that it has six phases. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, now the edges are line segments like this one in which two phases meet or get together. So in this case the edges are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For the cube we have twelve edges. Now the vertices. The vertices of a solid figure are points in which two or more edges get together. In this case, these three edges get together at this vertex. So, a cube has one, two, three, four, and four more are eight. Actually, a cube is a rectangular prism in which all the faces are squares. In more general terms, this would be a rectangular prism. So, it basically shares the same characteristics with a cube. So, the same number of faces, the same number of edges, and the same number of vertices. So, six faces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Edges, one, two, three, four, and four eights, and these four, twelve. Now we have a triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid is made of four faces. You can see them here. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, five, and six edges. And one, two, three, and four vertices. The square pyramid is a pyramid whose base is a square. So here we can see the square, the base, and now four triangles. They actually look like the Egyptian pyramids. So here we have one face that is a square plus four faces that are triangles. So to get a total of five faces. Now, edges, well, we can see these four edges that correspond to the four sides of this base plus five, six, seven, and eight edges. And we can see five vertices. This way you can appreciate them. One, two, three, four, and five. In order to complete this series of solid figures, um, we have the triangular prism. A prism is a solid made of some faces that are polygons. In this case, we can see three faces that are uh, squares and the two parallel faces that are triangles. That's why the name, triangular prism, because the two parallel uh, faces are triangles. So, in order to finish with this, we have three faces that are squares, in this specific example, plus two faces that are triangles, so five faces. Edges, well, if this is the base of the prism, you, you can uh, take into consideration these three edges, plus these three, six, plus these three, nine edges. And finally, the vertices are one, two, three, four, five, and six.